welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today, we're checking out another new Kit Kat variety. Now, this is sort of a, a mix between a Kit Kat and the Old Gold chocolate. Now, Old Gold has started doing some releasing of other bits and pieces, and this one is Old Gold Choc Whirl. I have some for my cider. I have some for me. They are separated into two fingers. I am now going to break mine snap noise. With this one, with a trusty knife, oh, straight down the middle, give you a look inside. So you've got your wafer at the bottom and chocolate at the top. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to give some of these to my offsider who sits off camera, who helps you and me figure a few things out. That's right, it's taste test time. All right, so in front of you, you have two fingers of this new Kit Kat Gold Choc Ooh, Whirl. What is gold? Now, I think this is the take on the um, old gold. You know, the old gold yes. chocolate. Well, they've sort of started mixing them into Kit Kats. And, yeah, I think this is that. Do you ever eat old gold? That is so dark. I haven't had old gold. It's but a the, dark chocolate. Yeah, and they've sort of changed a few things with it. Yeah, no, but this is the Choc Whirl. Listen. Oh. I love that. All right, shall we go in for a uh, a taste? Yeah. Notice the these are quite long. These are the to, these are the proper size. The, the proper size for a Kit Kat finger. Say what they are again, please. They're called Gold Choc Whirl. I'll give you the description of what they've got on the thing. Crisp wafer fingers covered in delicious swirls of golden white chocolate and milk chocolate on golden choc base. That's quite pleasant. Actually, they're, they're almost a caramelly... Almost, flavor. yeah. They're nothing like old gold, though. No. Old gold is a bitter, dark chocolate, which is so Moorish you can't stop eating it. That's why there's none around this house. But it's nice. Is quite nice. All right. Score time. Mm hmm. That's hard. Now, it is a full size bar. Mm. It's not like the other ones that are out there that might not be as full size. It's got the swirly thing in it. I'm five. <laughs> and a five? I was just being dramatic by thinking. All right, for me, I'm giving it a four. Mm. It's good. I mean, it is good. It's a little bit intense flavour for me. Like, the, 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 there's very strong white chocolate taste. Mm -hmm. I reckon if, if you were to sit there and have all four fingers, uh, you'd probably feel a little bit sick afterwards, oh. eating all of them. So for me, it's four. For you, it's a five. It's a nine. Out of ten. Just remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget comments, questions, or maybe other things you'd like us to try. Leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get notified when we do these Check Out Bastard episodes. My daily vlogs, urban historical cooking, grey card maintenance, you name it, I film it. It ends up on YouTube. So, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video. Yeah. Kit Kats should always be this size. Don't why, matter. Why are these not shrunk down to the other side? I don't know. Because they're keeping them the same size as the other ones, which I think is a good idea. What's the price of them? Same as the normal Kit Kat. What are the prices of the other ones? Same as the normal Kit Kat. Okay, so they've given us a new flavour. Yep. But they haven't made them small. No. Check out where the other ones are made, by chance, um, and where these ones are made. Then they're all made by Nestle. Yeah, but where? This is made in Australia. Wow. Could be South Australia. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I like that. That's that's, mm. that's a really that's a really nice kick at. 